Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time we made our way through the Tower of London, grabbed Lucretia's heart, went back to see her, and under, I guess, force, uh, so to speak, um, she released Lily of her blood bond and told us where uh, the shipping manifest was like set to go and it was to New York, where it's going to be held like everything all the contraband and everything is going to be held by the giovanni in their warehouse um and as we gave her lucretia's heart back to her she attacked us we got her heart back staked the bitch she died and as we got on the boat the saint magdalena to come to new york we um came across interpol who was investigating the Giovanni. And we met up with Agent Thorne once we came to New York. Uh, who apparently has all the access codes the uh, for the Giovanni in an offline central computer somewhere in the world. And we're, apparently it just happens to be New York. Probably in the same strip that we're in. As we were moseying along, we came across Samuel, the Nosferatu, saved him against some Nosferatu Sabbat, and now he has joined our party. And he told us of a Malkavian called uh, Nuldev, who would be able to help us gain access to the codes at an offline computer. And wouldn't you know it, his apartment is right here. What did I say, Nuldev? It's Dev Null. My bad. Um, hello. Oh, and, uh, Dolnev is also Malkavian. Should have probably led with that. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had a vault. Oh my god, I can see myself. So I guess this is our haven for New York. Oi, Devnell. Huh? Hi, Devnell. These are my friends. Have you come from nowhere or from the air one? Devnell, it's me, Samuel. I am not Devnell. I am just a man of tick tock. Oh, okay, sure. I'm Samuel, remember? You are not Samuel. You are Samuel and a triune entity. <laughs> this triune entity is Kristoff, Pink, and Lily. Say hi to him. Hi, Chris, or is it Maliki? Hi, Pink. That's a my stupid name. Hi, Lily. Tell mom's at the southern bar of clay. Delight to meet all you John Doe's and Jerry Doe's. Uh, what a gormless nutter. Let's get out of here. Bye. Don't use your knife, Kevin. I mean, Kabar. Or they'll rebuke ya. Hoo hoo. Yucka. <sighs> Actually, for him, this is pretty lucid. Dev, no. We need some help. I'm not Dev, no. I am a rock. I'm a rock. We seek thy aid in unearthing Giovanni lore from the FBI's central computer. Canst thou do such a thing? Uh, no. What a conquer. That's it. I'm leaving. Samuel, you. Worthless Nazi. Just wait, Pink. The site you mentioned is entirely cut off from outside access by use of a separate network backbone that connects the system across the country and prevents unauthorized access. A anyway, that's what Parr says. Oh, okay. Handle with care. You have to slip this Mickey into their Campbell's chocolate fish soup of the sewers, huh? What? Their big ocean of data. Hmm? Then I can catch the codes in my net. <laughs> Or my unnet. Or my unnet. It's rickety and uh, empty and waiting for temporary data from the NYPD. Or the MPD. I forget which. This is a data tap. We have to put it on the police computer and it'll beam their data to Dev Null. I am not Dev Null. I am just a lick. A smart Alec. <laughs> Wherein shall we attack uh, smart this Alec, data tap? I get it. Randomly. 
by chance, or in the police sewers on FBI CC line number 204. Sounds easy. But then you have to get away. Free as a jay, stopped free. I hope you are loaded for bear, or alligator, so you can set up my gator land. Local area network. I've heard that the sewers all around police headquarters are controlled by an unfriendly Nosferatu called the Underprince. He uses alligators against intruders. So take us to him. Um, no, I can't. He's a bot. Ah, stealth mission then. You're gonna trust this grinning loony? Rafink is spooked by this mask of Cheshire whimsy? <laughs> Devno, we owe thee a boon. What dost thou wish in return? Mm, me dost wish for, like, peace on Earth and stuff? And a player to be named later. Thou seeks nothing in return for thy service? Turn. Yes. Please, return when finished. Vamp till ready. Find the fiend. Could it be that a kindred doth provide help for no gain? Oh, well, he is completely nuts. Let us go. See you later, Devnal. Derf. So, I, I believe I've mentioned before, for those of you that don't know, Malkavian are insane. They're, they're pretty insane. But, rumor has it, many rumors surrounding the Malkavians, that there is meaning in their madness, that they are in fact visionaries, um, professors of prophecy and that even they don't know what they're, what they're actually seeing is real or not because they get visions there's also rumor that they have a hive mind that if one Malkavian learns something all Malkavians know it and that they're actually in touch with the um with the uh, antediluvian um, vampire, like uh, M Malkavian, I forget his name, like the very first Malkavian, that they're still mentally in touch with each other. Um, lots of rumors surrounding Malkavian. And as I said, like, no one really knows. Um, like, they'll spout some shit about, like, the end of the world, or, like, something that'll just happen to come true, and people will be like, how did you fucking know that? They could have guessed. They could have been lucky. Or, they actually had visions. Regardless. Let's head on out. So, now we go in the sewers. Now we go in the sewers. Somehow, they're unlocked. Oh boy, there's multiple levels of sewers. Lovely places you take me to, Chris. Ugh, that smell. Oh, does it offend your widow Toreador nose? Tough bruiser don't even notice it. I bet Sammy's right at home here, in the garbage. It has a certain honest charm. At least this garbage doesn't pretend it's a tough bruiser. Oh. <laughs> Oi! I got my eye on you, emeroid face. That was pretty good. Alright, get the warehouse access codes, explore the suites of New York to gain information about the access codes. Attach transponder un uplink. Find FBI CC line 204 in the sewers beneath the city. Okay, okay. Yeah, that didn't really help. Oh god. So, even into the New York sewers, we have ghoul spiders. Makes perfect sense to me. Oh. Hi.
okay. Um, I, I guess right now it just kind of fills up. Uh, it just kind of breaks even in terms of the blood. It kills them pretty quickly. Yeah, no blood left. Okay. Target has no more blood to drain. That's interesting. Alright. Uh, and I want to try immolate as well. Damn powerful. To the abyss with Oh, yay, a shotgun. to do something here. Oh, apparently, yeah. Okay, what did that do? Can't click on them anymore. Oh, drain the water. I see. Or maybe it didn't.
Where am I going? Why did that sound like a chest? Aluminium bat. I do withdraw. Oh, whoops. Great job, guys. Good teamwork. What is that? Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh no, shit. Fuck. God damn. Stuff not looking so hot. I really hope I know where I'm going. Okay. I just realized what I made what I just said doesn't make sense. What I meant to say, in my head, I kind of got like the two sentences mixed up. I meant to say, I hope these guys know where they're going because I don't. What I ended up saying was, I hope I know where I'm going. What is that? Tome of Protean. Protean! Is that some rat carcass? Seems like it. No see. To the abyss with thee. This no has been naughty. you want you gonna die just a fact of life rags you can wear the rags I'm sorry Samuel your mouth looks like a fucking like reed like reed pipe not reed pipe that thing that like that like Peter Pan from the cartoon plays with 
it's kind of like an accordion, but it's not. It's like not an accordion. Harmonica. It looks like a harmonica, but it's got like the reeds and said he fucking plays it anyways. Ooh, a blue bag. So I literally have no more space. Stand thy ground. Let's loose thy wrath. ground stand on the ground uh... yeah let's just go here first That was a uh, admittedly stupid move on my part. But in my defense, Let's loose thy that's it. I, I got nothing else. Just in my defense. Pink, do you want to move, maybe? To the abyss with you. All right, let's wake up. Oh, it's an armor t-shirt. That was a flak jacket. Uh, Lordy Lou. What the fuck kind of setup is that?
Return to me. Let's loose thy wrath. The fuck? You know what I don't get in every game, in every fucking game that I play? There's gotta be a sewer level. Like, I really believe in this day and age, even games that don't need sewer levels, like, they, they just put it in because they have to. I feel like uh, it's one of those like memes that, that everybody has to be in on, you know what I mean? Okay, gonna have some plasma bags. I think that's enough stuff. It's probably like, why do I gotta be the pack mule? Uh, I think I came from that way. Alright. To the abyss with thee! Samuel, it's okay. Alright, I guess we cannot go anymore. Are you doing okay, Lily? Just hanging out by yourself here? You doing alright? I just realized I haven't been using the Eyes of the Beast. I don't know if there's any hidden areas down here per se, but I guess it'd be good to have them regardless. Um, we got, we got a Last of Us thing going on down here. Why are there fungi? Why are there mushrooms growing in a fucking sewer? I mean, I know it can. I mean, it's ideal environment for them. Probably even ideal temperature, to be honest. But, but guess what? Oh, jeez. 
Uh, I do that was so close. Fuck. Why? your blood healing, buddy. Cash money. Lou. 
I don't remember which guy I came. Did we need to go this way? Yeah, this seems different. Where the alligators come in. Is there a car under the water in the middle of a sewer? There's the alligator. Dev Knoll's right. I've been wanting some albino alligator skin boots. Oh, ghoul alligator. To the abyss with me. To the abyss with me. Let loose thy wrath. I think there was a scroll of awaken somewhere. There we go. Give it to him. You can cast it on me. With lack of precious blood. Then you can use it on this asshole. Yeah, those old Bondo alligators were no goddamn joke. Alright. And actually, I think that'll be a good place to call it for that one. Um, yeah, you always hear about alligators in the sewers, but... Uh, vampire alligators in the sewers? Actually, ghoul vampire alligators. How do you think that would have worked? Because, like, in order to get be, become a ghoul, they need to drink blood from you, right? I, I guess you just, like, drop the blood into their mouths. But that's just... I don't know. That's just weird to me. Interesting concept, regardless. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.